In order for for me to go into styles, I have to start listening to a lot of music and have a have a sort of a hard drive with a search box. That when I hear this, what what does it get me to? What does it remind me of that I have done or that I have experienced or that I have heard? And I can translate that into what I what I what I can play. So that goes that goes and that um, relates directly to fundamentals and my capability of being who I am at that moment and being able to change who I am at that moment. Does that make sense? It does. So you're yeah. saying that in the fundamentals or in the in the warm up and in the fundamentals. You're, you're focused on the beginnings of the notes, the timing of the notes, the articulation at both ends of the notes. And then it is with, once you have, I'm mean, going to say nothing of all the fingerings and the rest mm -hmm, of the articulations, mm -hmm. but you build that toolbox mm -hmm. so that when you, this is Jeff Connor call back with the toolbox there, but um, <laughs> inside joke, sorry, people. Uh, so then no, no, people find inside jokes that they don't know what they're, they find those super endearing always. I think we should. Oh, good. I'll, I'll those. keep them coming. That reminds me. No. So then, <laughs> then you go with that set of tools and then in this situation, then I need to deploy it in this way. I need to combine it in this way. So the mm -hmm. intensity of listening is the same, whether you're in the fundamentals because you're developing the skills or you're trying to play the different styles because then you're de deploying those skills. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more content by the Brass Junkies, just click on the like and subscribe button. You'll have an opportunity to see some of the greatest brass players in the world and Andrew and me. <laughs>